It was called X-Fest, and the day will go down in history as it was the first time ever that an event like this takes place inside the Level 4 State Prison. Inmates got to witness several speeches and spiritual performances from those that have been down the same road as some of them. Bring in the light, that's what we want to do. We're known as, you know, we have a faith, and our faith is in God. And bringing the light to them and just getting a smile on their face, because it's the same routine every day. You know, they have to go through the same routine every day. So if we can bring something that just brings a spark of life, a, a happiness, and, you know, shake a hand, and just acknowledging them and letting them know they're not forgotten, it, it's worth it. On hand to perform and show off their skills were 26-time World Arm Wrestling Champion Alan Fisher and his wife, five-time World Arm Wrestling Champion Caroline. These men have a story to tell and they want to share that and they want to see that their life still matters. And many of the men in here have had a, an extreme change of heart. And we want to be there to honor that and to give them uh, a connection to what normal and reality is. A few of the inmates had their chance to arm wrestle Alan. One of them was actually successful. The performance that got the most reaction by far was the BMX bike performance that Team Soil put together for the inmates. If everybody out here can uh, go through the, the process of serving their time and then while they're doing it looking for positive things to do and us giving them a day that makes them feel positive, I think that it's totally worth coming into a scary environment to do my job. At one point, inmates got involved as five of them laid on the ground while one of the bikers jumped over them with his bike. Lieutenant Jorge Santana says that they hope that events like these will guide inmates to a better way of life, especially if and when they get out. We have 1,749 lifers. Lifers, once they reach their uh, eligibility, eligibility for parole, can parole if they behave. So the goal is for them to uh, rehabilitate, get an education, um, and hopefully parole. At the end of the day, the event left some of the inmates with a new perspective on life. It's something that gives us encouragement to get to keep pushing. It's something to, to look forward to. You know, we don't have much of that here, so when we when we get that, it gives me a, a, a chance to get my priorities in life right. So this is very important, and and and, and I hope that could be keep uh, spread in touch for us here in this prison. The event closed out with one of the bikers performing a bike flip over the Calipatria State Prison warden. There are over 3,500 inmates here. Over 1,700 of those are serving life sentences. It is because of their good behavior that positive events like these can occur. At Calipatria State Prison, I'm Jose Martinez, KSWT, News 13.